What's everybody doing? I hope so far so good. This is Harry. Today we're just gonna talk about how the market usually perform for the month of January. So we're gonna make some video about every month to make sure how they've been perform in the past. So for the month of January, how the market, the stock market usually perform. That's what we're gonna see. It's gonna be a very brief shot. I got some friends that have been asking me about that. So usually how the stock market usually perform. If you haven't been subscribed to my channel, just do me a favor, please subscribe, like, and share. So this one has been presented by Wi-Fi stock market. How the market usually perform for the month of January? That's our topic for today. Month of January usually doing great. It's been usually doing great. So our number one topic is month of January usually doing great. And our topic two, we're going to see the shot, the SP500. And I'm going to give you as topic three, some bonus. Now, going all the way back from 1928, the SP500 has finished higher, or usually finished very high, about 63% of the time. It usually finished 63% of the time in January. According to Dow Jones, market data gaining 1.2% on average. Whenever January is positive for the SP500, the index on average has made a 9.2 gain in the month following in that year. So that means for the January, stock market usually going higher. So if you can, as you can see now, the stock getting lower. The reason why is because during the past month of November and December, everything was too high. Now it's like a rubber band. When the rubber band has been stretched out, you have to go in back. So when you stretch out, you have to go in back. So that's the way. So the stock market has been going too high during the month of november and december that's why in the beginning now from yesterday up today you see stock getting lower but usually the month of january stocks always went high so you, you just have to be watching it watch and wait patient and see how it's going to be performed but that doesn't mean it might be going high for this month but according to history, stock usually go high for the month of January. Because as you can see there, going all the way back to 1928, the SP500, which is the global, this, the basket, has finished higher, usually finished higher of 63% of the time in January. So by the end of January, stock has this chance to get higher by a percentage of 63. You never know. So according to Dojo, Dojo, so market usually gain 1.2% on average. So whenever January is positive, the SP500 reaches the basket. The index on average has made in a 9.2 gain in the month. So let's see. So our subtitle, as you can see, is January. So in other words, to sum it up, January is typically a good month for stocks. So it's usually a good month for the whole stock, January. So if you see January is low now, do not hurry. You can go back higher. We're just in the beginning of the month, as today is uh, the third, as you can see. The way to get started is to quit taking a begin doing. So if you have to buy, if you have to sell, just do your research. 
with your history and do some technical analysis of the fact and it will tell you what can be done. But as we been told you, usually the month of January always doing well. I'm going to give you some summary. Stock market, as you can see for today, like today is the third, start from yesterday, the second of 2024. Dog, Jones, gains slightly. As you can see, we have Apple was gain. Stock was higher from stock of Apple slightly. Tesla was slightly gain. BYG, beyond. You are ASML and more. Most, most of them was slightly gain, was high for me yesterday, the second. And also, as you can see, if you check your short, Bitcoin price was rally, so it was high. And the oil price rise on Red Sea tension because some tension has been, something happened, it finished in red. So the treasury yields rise. So between yesterday, you can see stock was a little bit higher. Apple, Tesla, BYD, ASML, more, and, and Bitcoin also was higher. The price, the oil price was rise. That's why it was going down. And the treasury yields was rise. So the SP500 marked double digit in last year. So last year, the whole total of SP500 was going higher. That's why we've been told you, if you cannot buy stock, like individual stock, like you buy Apple, individual Tesla, B1G, you can just buy the SP500. The SP500. SP500. Because the SP500 is the basket. It has all those stocks. So whatever you like or you don't like it, the SP500 at the end of the day or at the end of the year is getting higher. That's why. See? The SP500 mark double digit again last year because you will always make money when you buy the SP500, the whole basket. You know, like VOO, those stocks, the SP500, the index. Usually, people who buy the index always make money because stock, at the end of the day, even though they start going up, down, up, down, up, down, but at the end of the day, the SP500, the index, the VOO, they go higher, you make money. That's why people who don't know how to buy the stock or do not buy individual stock, they can buy, just buy the basket, the SP500, the VOO, etc. Always, because at the end of the day, you will make profit. January, May, brings profit if history is in the industry. So, so what you can see, January usually go higher. It will bring profit. Unless something change because stock has been going so high during the month of November and December. So that's why you see some slightly going down. But in other words, January usually go higher, as you can see. Now, I'm going to show you some shots here. Before that, as we were told you, going all the way back to 1928, as I just told you, the SP500 has finished 63% of the time in January, according to Dow Jones, market data again, 1.2% on average. He usually go higher and he usually get 1.2 gain. Whenever January is positive for the SP500, the index on the average has made a 9.2%. Always happen in the month following the, the year. It has a, I would a two point one gain when the month finish lower. So that means January always finish higher. Even though the month get lower, you always finish by two point one gain. As you can see, I just show you a. But you can see just a shot of SP500, as you can see, start being going high and going down. 
and now it's going high and go down here and this is where we are we at now stock for the month so we see we have a chance now if he's let's say resistance here it has a go it has a chance to go back to that resistance and now if he's quick that resistance here we call that resistance line so if he's quick this resistance line it has a chance to go higher so now we are here and we have a chance to go hit that resistance. Either it hit that resistance not breaking and going back to that resistance here, that support. And we hit and going back to the support and go higher. So we just have to see. And we have a, we, we can see here the MACD here, as you did, the MACD is bullish because the MACD line, whenever the MACD line is above the, the other line, chance as you go, stock market has a chance to go higher because the MACD line is above this line. And we have the stochastics is above the red line. So all those things, guys, has a chance for the stock to go higher in the month of January. And that's a summary too, you see, for the month of November and December, you see the stock was like this high here. That's a shot I just project for you. Go back down here. You go down here. Let's go back there. I want to go back here. You go all the way back down there. It's now, it's, see, it's over the resistance. It's there. That's why it might be having just to go back down here and go higher. So, my friend, that was all I have for you today. It was presented by me, Henry. And then we can see next time. Do not worry about that. And then we will be talking about it. So, next time it was presented by me, Henry. So that's the way stock market always go higher for the month of January. If you want to go, just visit my website, www.wifi.stores.com. It's my website. And then you can just have your email here, Wi-Fi. 2005 at yahoo.com. So, if you like the video, just do me a favor subscribe, like, and share. So, see you next time for the month of February. So, we do it for the month of January to see how the stock market has been performed for the month of January. So, next time we're going to see for the month of February. We're going to wait until we get there. So, see you. Take care of you. Say, hey, we. See you. You keep in touch. Take care. Bye bye. See you. Bye. Take care.